I have the great pleasure to give you an insight into our ultra-compact industrial PC series C60 today. And within the next about 20 minutes, I'm going to share the core features of the series with you, but also to give you ideas how and where to implement the PCs of the series in your applications. And to also get some market feedback, I invited Mr. Eric Rayner from the United States of America as our industrial PC product specialist to also share some customers and some market feedback with us. Beckhoff as one of the founders of PC-based automation brought so many revolutionary products and technologies. You might think that, yeah, the PC is just simply necessary. But if you then consider that the PC is controlling the whole thing and that the hardware and the software of the PC is really the heart of everything, then you totally understand why it is so important that we as Beckhoff take care so thoroughly about the IPC, about the hardware and the software. And you also understand that it's important that you as our customers also take care about the industrial PC. And actually also related to the PC technologies, Beckhoff made some revolutionary steps. The last one led into the C60 product family right behind me. But I would like to start in the year 1990, because in the year 1990, Beckhoff already brought the first self-developed and self-produced motherboard to the market to control machines. And that time, based on an Intel i386 chip. And actually, that was already revolutionary, because it was designed as an all-in-one motherboard. So all the components, all the features, all the connectors, all the chips integrated into one single PCB. And that was absolutely not usual in that time. And that's especially interesting as we now today, 30 years later, go back to that mindset to design all-in-one motherboards and bring them into the series of C60 ultra-compact industrial PCs. A few years later, then the ADX standard more and more dominated the market. And I'm pretty sure that all of you have or had an ATX-based PC in your applications used. And that also shows us the ongoing development of the PC technology in general, that the performance is increasing, but the size is already decreasing all the time. And if you now consider that a PC today is so small that, yeah, it fits into the pocket of my jacket, the C6015 from Beckhoff, the smallest PC that we have, then you really understand why it's important and absolutely right to do automation PC-based. And you also understand that it's the perfect idea to do this together with Beckhoff. Before I would like to start with the information about the series, I would like to share yeah, the base of the success, the foundation of the success that we have with our industrial PCs and that our customers have using our industrial PCs. And this foundation is actually based on several things. The first important thing is the development, the development of the hardware and of the software of these devices. It's important to know and understand that we as Beckhoff fully understand the IPC up to the smallest resistor on the motherboard. What we do is we develop, we design the motherboards and the peripheral boards our own here in Germany. It's not only the hardware, but it's also the software. We develop the BIOS, we develop the operating system images, we set up the drivers, we set up the firmwares, so we have everything fully in our hands and fully under control. We do not only buy components, put them together and sell this as an industrial PC. We do everything on our own. It's not only the development of the products, but it's also the production. We produce our industrial PC 100% here at our headquarters in Germany. 
we, we build everything up, we test everything fully again in our hands. So we really understand the PC and we can always deliver a perfect setup of the devices. And this brings us so many benefits and this also brings you so many benefits using the devices. It's of course the quality. It's the long-term availability of the devices. It's the general availability of the devices. It's the worldwide service that we can offer. It's the compatibility between different PC generations, and so on, and so on. And last but not least, I would like to talk about software again. It's about TwinCAD as our control automation software. And it's simply unique and exceptional that we use one single software, TwinCAD 3, to control all branches, all applications, and it's only one single software which is available on all the different platforms that we have, from the tiny ARM-based controller up to the big Xeon-based 40-core machine control. It's always the same software. And that's th this scalability offers you the possibility to use always a perfect fitting system in your application. And it also offers you the, po the possibilities of yeah, port, really easily port software between different platforms. This saves investment and it saves know-how at your companies, at your applications. To go into the new series of ultra-compact industrial PCs, I'd like to share the basic idea of the setup, the basic idea of the series. And the basic idea is that we always use one PCB again. So one motherboard fully integrating all the functions, all the features, all the connectors, the CPU, the power supply, the RAM, the mass storage and everything. And as we combine all features, all functions and components, all chips on a single PCB, we do not have any internal cables anymore. We can achieve the highest quality possible. We can achieve the highest durability possi possible. We have the highest shock and vibration resistance. We can achieve most compact designs and also highest cost efficiency. And also, all of the boards feature an internal plug, a connector, which you can find on all the boards of the series. And this plug is used for all the PCs of the series as well. And we use this plug, this connector, to plug in second PCB layers. So th that you can have modular function and feature extensions to all the devices of the series. And we still have the same motherboard then for the devices. We still have the same BIOS. We have the same operating system, the same drivers, the same firmware, everything, the setup is the same. We just have a plugged in second modular PCB layer. This again brings you so many benefits. You could have, for example, a modular machine system and using a modular PC system to achieve all the modular machine setups with different PC types, with different PC setups, but again, always with the same board, with the same software, with the same BIOS, the same images. You can really easily port the software and use the PCs in different setups on all the parts of the machine. To go into the series, of the C60 PCs, we talk about six products that we have in the market already. It's on the left side of the picture, the C6015 and the C6017. So we have the same board, the same motherboard on both of the PCs, but in the one case, we have a second modular function extension by a second PCB layer. In the middle, we have C62, so C6025 and C6027. Again, same motherboard with or without a second PCB layer. And on the right side, we have the top end high performance class, which is C63, so C6030 and C6032. Again, same motherboard with or without a second PCB layer. And all these devices are configured, scalable, and fully modular. We have many different extensions for the second layer already available or currently in preparation. And that really completes the series 
and offers you, yeah, to use the PCs in nearly all kinds of applications in the world in all branches. So what is especially unique for the C60 series? Of course, it's the extreme compactness. So these PCs are the most compact compared each to a comparable device of the back of portfolio. In numbers, with the same calculating performance, you can save up to 90% space in the control cabinet. It's also the cost reduction. So by a really easy setup in terms of production, processes, in terms of the housing, the mechanics, and because of the all-in-one motherboard, we can really reduce the costs in production, so we can also reduce the list price of the devices. It's also the design, the new design of the products. It's also all the important soft facts about our PCs that I mentioned before. But last but not least, there's something else, and this is the flexibility in the way of the installation of the PCs in the control cabinet. So for the PCs, we have different mounting adapters available, which allows you to install the PC vertically in the control cabinet, but also flatly on the rear side wall, on the side wall, or the door of the control cabinet. You can also have an adapter using the PC directly on the DIN rail. Maximum flexibility in the way of installation possible. Furthermore, you can loosen four screws in the adapters, and you can turn the PC in the adapter to align the, adapter, the, the connectors of the PC to the routing of the cables of the control cabinet, what you can see right behind me. And this is a very cool feature, but it's also very important. If you imagine that you have this number of cables on those tiny PCs in the control cabinet, and you would have to squeeze them so you understand it's important that you can align the connector level to the routing of the cables in the control cabinet. For me, maybe the most important feature of the series is the scalability. The scalability of the performances and the areas of use cases, the areas of application. And this scalability starts again on the left side of the illustration with our class of C61. C60, 15, and 17. And these PCs feature Intel Atom CPUs, so quite powerful, up to four CPU cores with 1.91 gigahertz per core in the maximum configuration, and they are so tiny. And because of this remarkable performance in relation to the size, we have a lot of customers using these PCs in IoT scenarios like as an IoT gateway, for example, collecting data, making data available. But we also actually have a lot of customers using these tiny PCs to control a machine, to control access. And they're just happy about the tiny size of the PCs and the performance of the Atom processors integrated. The upper edge of the performance is on the other side of the illustration, which is the C63 class, C6030 and C6032. And this series combines maximum performance and the ultra-compact design. As we integrate 65 watts Core i processors up to a Core i7 with eight cores, 2.6 gigahertz per core. And it's important to understand that Core i7 is not Core i7. So Intel offers different performance classes for their Core i, starting with the 15 watts class, to the 35 watts class, to the 65 watts class. And we made it to bring the highest performance class, so 65 watts, into this ultra-compact format. And that's really remarkable and without any precedent at the moment, to have CPUs that you normally only have in the big ADX-based PCs in such a small form factor. So, of course, these devices are especially used in all kinds of automation which are really performance-hungry, like vision um, applications, like big data analysis, like controlling hundreds of access, so for the real big applications, for performance-hungry applications. But we also have customers using these high-performance PCs in IoT scenarios. 
For example, if you have locally to do some really high performance pre-calculations. Right in between the C61 and the C63 series, we have the C62. And these two PCs offers, again, Core i performance, but in this case, as the 15 watts class, which is Core i U, ultra low voltage. And these PCs are exactly the link between the small atoms and the big Core i ones. And the 15 watts Core i U class offers and enables us to bring these PCs with Core i performance, but in an absolutely fanless design. So Core i performance, but fanless. When the performance and the price is right between the C61 and the C63, of course, customers use them, especially again on IoT scenarios, but also to control machines. And these PCs were always then used when the atom performance is just simply not enough, but you don't want to use the big core eyes. And it's always used if you need core eye performance, but the fanless design is mandatory. And if you now combine and yeah, compare the actual performance of all the CPUs that we have available for the product series, then you really understand what I meant with the scalability of the, pro of the product portfolio. And it becomes very clear if we have a look on the benchmark results. So what we do is we carry out hundreds of CPU benchmarks for all the CPUs, starting from the tiny two-core Atom up to the big Core i7 with eight cores. This back of performance index consists out of hundreds of benchmarks, taking care about the PLC performance, the CNC, NC performance, the cache performance, the RAM access, and so on. As higher the value, as more performance the CPU. I don't want to go into the details now. I just want to show you how linear this growth is, the, the growth of performance comparing the different CPUs of the setting of the series. And this just depicts how scalable the portfolio is. So you see, you will always find a perfect fitting CPU, a perfect fitting PC for nearly any kinds of applications. You can just choose between the different performance classes, between the different um, CPUs to have a perfect fitting system. Talking about performances, talking about um, eight cores or even more cores, you always have also talk about our software again, TwinCat 3. Because with TwinCat 3, already a few years ago, we invented and offered the market a software, a control software, which is capable to use all these many CPU cores. With TwinCat 3, you can split the application into several threads and place these threads onto several CPU cores offered by the CPU. So you can use one core for the PLC, one core for the NC, one core for like a C++ application or whatever. So working with Beckhoff, always means that you have access to the newest technologies available, but it also means that you can really use these new technologies. Yeah, TwinCat is a perfect example for that. So it's always the right idea to go this way together with Beckhoff. I gave you a lot of information about the ultra-compact PC Series C60 today taking care about the different CPUs, the performance classes, taking care about ideas where and how to implement these PCs also in your applications. We spoke about the basic idea of the system, of the setup. We spoke about the scalability and so on. And now, as a proof of concept, I invite Mr. Eric Rayner from the United States of America, our IPC product specialist, to share some market feedback and to share some customers' feedback with us. So, hi Eric, thank you very much for joining our presentation of the Ultra Compact PCs today about the C60 and sharing some market feedback with us. Hey Felix, thanks for having me. 
Eric, me as a product manager, of course, I'm enthusiastic and convinced of the products. But does the market have the same opinion? How do you rate the acceptance of the market concerning the IPCs? It absolutely does. Uh, customers are very enthusiastic. The power that the C60 series provides in such a small housing is really amazing. Uh, it's giving our customers the ability to design a machine around one PC, and that PC uh, controls the whole machine. Or if it's an existing application uh, in the field, the small form factor uh, and mounting freedoms allow the customer to retrofit their machines uh, very, fairly easily. Uh, customers love the fact that these PCs are more compact, they're more powerful, and they're less expensive than the previous generations. Eric, the series had a very successful start. In which areas of applications is it mainly used? Honestly, all. It's not limited to one type of machine or application. All of our customers are trying to reduce the size of their cabinets, and the C60 series products really allow customers to do that. Uh, the base configuration uh, meets a majority of the applications they work on, and honestly, we have customers from packaging to semiconductor to material handling, entertainment, alternative energy, machine tool, plastics, and the list goes on. Uh, it really fits in all types of applications. Back of IPCs in the use and machine control are clear, but why is the series so heavily used in IoT scenarios? I think the main factor is the size. Uh, the C60 series can be added to any cabinet without taking up much space. Um, it has all the necessary interfaces for IoT applications, um, and the options in terms of processing power is also a benefit. Um, so we can find the processor that's going to meet the needs of the application. So if it's a small, uh, simple IoT sending uh, data over MQTT or AMQP, that's no problem. But if a customer needs to do some advanced algorithms locally, uh, we have the processor options to do that as well and then send to the cloud. So it really fits the needs of all the applications out there. And what is still missing in the series from the market point of view? With the addition of the C6025, uh, we're really filling out that product portfolio. The Whiskey Lake U processors give us an increase in terms of performance over the Atom processors. Uh, and while maintaining that fanless design uh, for the applications that require it. So from Atom to Whiskey Lake to the 8th and 9th Gen Core i processors, we're really giving uh, our, our customers a lot of options uh, for selecting the processor that is right for their application. The only other item that the U.S. market is probably waiting for is the UPS products. Once we have these um, products added to the portfolio, Uh, our customers will really have a lot of options in the near future. Eric, thank you so much for spending some market feedback with us. Stay safe and talk to you soon. Thanks, Felix. Appreciate you taking the time. And regarding the UPS products, I'm happy to announce that we will release a UPS series for the C60 PCs, but also for the other PCs very soon, at the end of this year. So actually, there are no excuses anymore not to implement the PCs of C60 series also in your applications. Before I end up with the presentation about the C60 Ultra Compact IPC family, I'd like to give you one more product. And this product is dedicated to the direct machine integration. Based on all the experiences that we made with our C60 series, we brought a product which is also using a one single PCB motherboard, but it's packed in an all-around IP65 water and, and yeah, water protected design for the direct machine integration. We integrated Ethercat and Ethernet ports, we integrated a display port, USB also for Wi-Fi connection for example, and Very interesting is that we also implemented an Ethercat P connector to the PC. And this especially enables that device to the usage as an IoT gateway directly in the field, especially for retrofitting existing machines. Because without touching 
the control cabinet. You can add the C7015 to the machine. You can directly plug in some sensors via either CAT-P, collecting data from the machine, making data available to the cloud, to a local server, or whatever. If you have any ongoing questions, ideas, feedback, problems that we can solve with you together, please get in contact with us, talk with us, call us, send us an email, visit us on the SBS Connect, visit us on the trade shows in the next month and years, go in deep discussions with us about technical things, and I'm sure we will always find a perfect solution for your kinds of applications. Thank you very much for taking the time. Get in contact with us. Thank you for being interested in our products and our solutions. And see you next time. Goodbye.